Students in one local school district missed school today because of a serious car accident. We can show you the scene from Sky Eye where crews were working to restore power in that town. Today, the woman had to appear in court because of it. She's accused of being drunk behind the wheel with her kids in the car. Our Ken McLeod has the latest. I'll put you down as a not guilty plea. You'd think Tanisha Rivera would have been concerned about her two injured kids when she crashed her Acura into a utility pole in Pelham last night and a passerby stopped to help. And she actually asked the passerby for a ride to a local bar. But as the Lowell mother was arraigned for drunk driving with a suspended license this morning, she was quick to use her 7 and 12 year old children as bargaining chips for lower bail. I'm definitely not a flight risk. I am a single mother raising two kids. Utility crews were at it all day, fixing the pole she snapped just before midnight, downing live wires onto Marsh Road. It, it looked like she never made the carve and went right into the pole. The result was a sizable blackout. The power went out for, I would say, two-thirds of the town of Pelham. Trouble is, the repair effort right here in front of the high school also blocks the main school bus route to and from the elementary and middle schools, which only have intermittent power anyway. That meant no school for kids here, which was not necessarily popular with everyone. I was looking forward to it because I had soccer practice, which I like going to. Workers hope to have repairs done and roadblocks removed by evening. Meantime, prosecutors weighing a possibly broken ankle to Rivera's oldest child are considering an upgrade to felony charges. And the kids were turned over the custody of their father at the hospital, so they're safe at this point. The incident provided some school kids a lesson outside the classroom. I don't know why you would ever do something stupid like that. In Pelham, New Hampshire, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Well, interesting conversation here with Eric, deeming this to be possibly the best day of the year.